Remember to like and subscribe. Cybermark here, and today I'm excited to tell you about the Cluster Games. So this is a challenge um, by Wiz to learn all about Kubernetes security, and I've been learning a lot about Kubernetes lately. And so this is a challenge that allows you to get familiar with some of the commands and uh, some of the concern, excuse me, security concerns associated with it. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right in. So. I just jumped right into the Kubernetes documentation itself. And so that's going to be at kubernetes.io. And there's a section here on managing secrets using kubectl. All right. And I, if you just follow this um, when it comes to the managing secrets, not creating a secret, you will find level one. And so I got super excited and I went through what was here. Uh, and so I'm going to step through that with you on the other tab. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is get secrets. All right, so we have uh, the name of a secret called log rotate, but that's not the actual secret itself. All right, so pulling up our documentation, we'll see that uh, the next thing we should probably run is a kubectl on describing the specific secret. And in our case, we're going to describe log rotate. All right, so it's going to be kubectl, and I think I have that command already in here. There we go. Hit enter. And so now we get a little bit more detail. If you've ever done a capture the flag or a CTF, you'll see that oftentimes you'll have the term flag there followed by some kind of string value. Now here we just have that a flag is 52 bytes. This seems to be some kind of opaque um, password or string, so we can't really see it. So going back to our documentation, if we kind of scroll down a little bit more, we'll see that we can decode the secret. So we're gonna run a kubectl get secret on the type on our specific secret string value. And then we're going to uh, send that output to a JSON path and we're extracting the data here. Now, 100% transparency. I don't know what this does yet, but that's okay because I put it on my list of things to research and learn about. And so we're going to get some uh, data back with a password potentially in it and we're going to have to review that data. So let's go ahead and do that. So borrow a couple times. All right, now I'm going to just bring this to the top of my screen here and hit enter. Okay, now at first glance, whenever, and I've mentioned it before in my videos, slow down and read your output, okay? So looking through this data, it doesn't look exactly like the example on the documentation, right? We don't have this nice string that says password and it's not color coded for us. So you do have to look through here, but sure enough, if you're diligent and patient, you'll find that there's a, a flag value here. Now, at first glance, I see this looks to be like a base64 encoded string. Uh, just if you look at enough of this stuff, you'll get to be familiar with that output. A double equal sign, not always, but is often a, a clue that it is, it is a base64 encoded string. And we can verify that we're on the right path when we look at the fact that we need to decode using base64, right? And so let's do that. Let's echo out that string. And I have that in my history as well. So we're going to echo out that string. We're going to pipe that to base64-d in order to get a decoded value for base64. And sure enough, we have our string value base64 decoded right here Wiz EKS challenge, OMG, overprivileged secret access. So we're going to copy that. And we throw that into our level one. I had already done that, so I'd have to go back. And our level one, you would paste that in there, right? Like so. Check it. And it looks like this one is the wrong, wrong flag. So I think you may get different versions. I don't know. This is pretty interesting. Uh, but that's what it is for now. No edits on this video. This is super exciting. I'm going to dive right back in, but wanted to share this with everybody. Thanks. Or if you like, do like this stuff and you have questions, uh, more content suggestions, please go ahead and uh, leave a comment below. And as always, please uh, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.